Hey, Simon here, and today I want to show how to find um, parameters. Like, I have sometimes the problem that I want to know if in one of these nodes is a velocity parameter or something like that because I read something in a tutorial. So what you can do, hit Ctrl F and then you find have this find node screen here, right? And usually it looks like, I think it looks like this. Um, and here you can just find, uh, for example, merge and then it will list all the merge nodes in this network, right? But we want to search for the parameters and not for the node names. So what you can do is you add another filter and here you um, set it to param. And here you can, for example, now look for velocity uh, merge. So, and then like match pattern, anything. And then you see that the source surface from Sphere has this parameter. So we can click this and check it out. And actually, um, where is it? Here it is. We see it's called the parameter velocity merge, even if it's called velocity here. So that's actually a problem because when we only search for velocity, we don't find it. And also by using wildcards, we do not. But there is an, an option for that. And what we can do, we can use the text port. Let me clear this here. So um, usually it looks like this. And with LS you can see your um, hierarchy of the scene. And with CD, for example, object, we can jump into our actual um, object network. And here I'm, I'm in the auto-dop network. So we can do this, auto-dop network and now we are here and now we can search for the parameters and this is there's this nice command op op perm with the option d we want to search all the nodes here you could usually enter a um, node name and then we can for example type velocity and here what we see is that for example the flip solver the flip fluid object uh, also, the source surface from Sphere have several um, parameters like scale velocity and velocity merge, um, which we, yeah, we, which we now found out about. And if you only want to search, for example, in the Sphere node, um, no, actually there is no Sphere here. Let's let's see Flip Solver one, right? Like so. So there one, then we see its uh, parameters even with the current with the current state of the of the parameter. That's pretty handy, isn't it? Um, so you can when you see in a tutorial something like oh yeah there is this option and you have no idea in which node it should be, then you can use this and find out in which node such a parameter is hidden. Yeah.